virus. Well, let's just jump over to Dominic Cummings, who, of course, is still sat in the background. He's escaped the uh, small embarrassment of travelling when he shouldn't have been. And now he's deep at work in the heart of government. And some very, very interesting research has now started around Dominic Cummings. And this was a particular article sent through to us this morning. We've got quite a lot of information here. We've done our best to package it for the news today. Let's have a look at uh, True Publica. And uh, their headlines is the co a cover story obscuring something far darker. So this is from the 28th of May. And uh, we'll put in a bit of text. It's an excellent article, encourage people to read it. If the Tories had reacted to the COVID-19 crisis and thrown their protective ring around the vulnerable and those in care homes, as they did with Cummings, we would have seen a different outcome to the sheer scale of death that this virus has brought to Britain. But this government wants chaos. This is the modus operandi of Dominic Cummings and Boris Johnson, as they both believe no real change can come without it. Now, I really paid attention to this, Mike, because this uh, brings us back to um, uh, reports that people like Danny Kruger came out with uh, several years ago, where they said it was the intention of the Tory party to introduce chaos, because out of chaos, they were going to transform the uh, civil service and public it's, services. It, it's really interesting, because I'm reading a book on uh, Mao Zedong at the moment. Uh, and uh, that was in the really early days, that was absolutely his position. And it had to be completely destroyed and rebuilt. Yeah. Uh, and this seems to be exactly the policy that we're seeing at the moment. Exactly the policy. And encourage people to go to this article because it's uh, referenced, it's so clear, it's so punchy. And of course, the headline there says it all that we're watching all of this pantomime around COVID-19, something very dark is happening at the heart of government. Now, uh, 